combine the following functions, we're given f of x is equal to 5x minus 8, g of x is equal to 2x plus 6, and h of x is equal to 5x squared plus 2x minus 7. We're asked to find f of g of x. Now another notation for this is f, and a little circle, f compose g of x. In either case, these mean the same thing, and what we would do here is, you start with the f function, start with the outside function, All right, and instead of the x, let's put a quantity minus 8. So 5 times something minus 8. Now instead of the x, we will replace it with the g of x. So g of x is 2x plus 6. And now we simplify. And so that would give us 10x plus 30 minus 8, using the distributive property. And so that's 10x plus 22. And so that would be f of g of x. Exercise B asks us to find h of g of x. And again, another notation we might see there would be h compose g of x. In either case, that would be, take the h function, and wherever you see an x, put a quantity. So 5 times something squared, plus 2 times something, minus 7. And now the something that we actually substitute is the entire g of x, which again is 2x plus 6. So now we simplify this. Uh, following the order of operations, I would deal with the exponent first. 2x plus 6 squared is 4x squared plus 24x plus 36. And I'll leave 2 times 2x plus 6 minus 7. All right, and now we'll deal with any multiplications. So applying the distributive property gives 20x squared plus 120x plus 180 plus 4x plus 12 minus 7. And combining any like terms gives us 20x squared plus 124x and uh, plus 185. And so h compose g of x, or h of g of x, is 20x squared plus 124x plus 185.